Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to add additional lines to a line chart in Google Sheets, if that's something that you need to do. I've run into this issue a couple times in the past and it can be a little bit confusing, but we're going to go ahead and see if we can, can work through this here. So we have some, some sales data here that we're going to use as, as proxy data. So we're just going to go ahead and for now I'm just going to select our, you know, our sales, our monthly sales, and then we're going to go ahead and hit insert chart and that's going to give us bring this guy down here so now we have this chart showing us our sales data you know we we really picked things up the second half of the year and seemed to be doing well there which is great very easy to do very intuitive but let's say you know what we forgot our monthly operating costs is our monthly sales times 60% right so 60% of our sales are operating expenses awesome we have that information now um, and then we just let's say we want our profit as well which I get this is a very simplified version but just for the sake of this exercise we'll just do our sales minus our operating expense and we're gonna get our profit here which is which is cool so we have our, our profit number as well and say okay now we have our chart data here so what we want to do is we can click on our, our option tab here three little circles hit edit chart and we're going to want setup so now you can see the data range is only selecting a1 to m2 which is our monthly sales so we can either just highlight everything again you can just go from m2 to m4 and that's going to give us this whole that's going to select everything there and we'll hit enter But nothing happens right so it's like well what happened i would assume that once that's in there you know it, it generate those new lines so we'll do edit chart and we've got the right data there so now we need to do something else under setup what we want to do is we need to do add series that's going to be the big thing here and so it's got our monthly sales operating costs all we need to do is click and it's going to select that row as a line now we have our operating cost series and let's say we just want to add one more i understand this layout whatever that's not for everybody i get it but you can go through and edit it and change the lines that you want but we'll so let's say let's add another series because we want the profit just gotta hit profit and there we go we can see how our profit has changed over time and obviously this is all fixed and if you had different numbers it would it'd probably look a little bit different but this is the way you go about adding a series um, let's say you know okay this is great like you know instead of having to delete your chart and starting over which can kind of be a pain if you've kind of formatted it and played with it so it's in a way that you really like it go ahead and add a series and let's say okay we have a sales target as well let's say we wanted to hit half a million dollars in sales every month so let's add that series as well we can visualize that that'd be a nice little feature so we need to change it so it is not M4 anymore, but it's M5. We need to include all of that data, all those data ranges, so that it's in there, or otherwise it's not gonna show up under our, our series data here. So now we're gonna go ahead and hit add series, sales target. So now we know that green line, that's our target line. We were able to surpass that a couple of the months of the year, and hopefully into the future, we'll be able to, to hit that target. But Anyways, this is how you add a series to a, a line chart in, in Google Sheets. Hopefully this is helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'll try and get to it as, as soon as I can. And please remember to like and subscribe to the Excel Guys so I can continue making these videos. And hope you have a great day.